Maybe the most unusual job at any auto plant in the world. Believe it or not, the Ford Rouge plant has a beekeeper. We sent our Tim Pamphlin to find out how this employee plays such a critical role there. In the 1930s, when the Ford Rouge plant was built, they had scant regard for the environment. The company and its workers were focused on one thing, getting their shiny new motor cars on the streets. But things have changed at Ford. The smokestacks are still there, just not belching out the toxins. And Mary Mason, Ford's resident beekeeper, tends to a hive. It's perfect teamwork. There's no bickering, there's no fighting within the hive. They just, just get it done. The Ford Rouge beehive orchard became a thing a few years back when Mary emailed then CEO Alan Mullally. The worst that can happen is he says no, right? But Mullally said yes. What company does that? <laughs> well, a company that wants to pay Mother Nature back. It's not just the beehives. There's also the solar panels that Ford's investing in. And we have to launch the drone, go skyward to see what's happening on the roof. You see this living roof? All but eliminates heating and cooling energy costs. And there you see, full circle, the humble bumblebee pollinating this roof to ensure the living roof continues to flourish. There is, of course, one tasty perk. Would you like to taste the honey? Sure thing. Can I just put my finger on it? Yes. You can just take the whole thing. So good. That's for scene in Dearborn tonight. Tim Pamplin, Local 4.